Oh boy. Yep, that was me. Alright. Oh yeah, here's Big Fish Boy. Yee. Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. It has been quite some time since I last posted any type of game video, really. Um, a lot has changed since then. Um, I'm now going to college. I've already been through an entire semester. I'm on my second right now. Uh, I go to the one in Colorado Springs, so it's 70 miles away from where I, my family lives, so it was quite the move, but we're here now. Everything's all situated, and it's going great. I love it here, um, but I figured since I kind of have some free time on my hands, I thought, why not revisit a game that I really liked when I started the series on it, um, and that's Half-Life 2. Now with that in mind, there's been a lot of add-ons and things like that to this game that I have heard about or even seen myself, and I wanted to give it a go. I wanted to add a little bit more of a twist to this series and make it feel a little bit more modern, you know? So I found this mod called M-Mod, and please forgive me, I cannot remember the creator's name exactly. I know there's like Gun and Mark involved in it. I, I can't remember, so I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, him and his team have made a mod that basically um, remasters the weapons, their sounds, the texture, um, their animations, everything like that. And as well as all of like the visual effects and the lighting, like all the explosions and everything look a lot better. Um, so it basically just gives a whole new insight on the game, even though those are really the only things that have been touched and, uh, and improved. Um, so I'm very excited to check it out. And now, even though I did a few episodes um, on the original game, I will start this one over just because of the new stuff that's been added, just to see what it's like, just to get a feel for it. But the story and all that stuff is still unchanged it's still all the same it's still the same half-life 2 so um, we're just doing that portion just for the story but otherwise I have no idea what's to come after um, the after where I left off from the other game so here we go half-life 2 and mod also Rise and shine mr. Freeman Rise and shine. That was a little loud. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. Okay, cool. So here we are. So like I said, a lot of the stuff with the objects and the characters have been untouched. Like, that hasn't really been messed with or anything like that but all the effects the lighting and the weapons have all been changed so really excited to see what that's like also forgive me if you can hear my fridge in the background I know it's kind of loud so if you can hear it I apologize there's nothing I can really do about it <laughs> so well, end of the line yep looks that way welcome welcome to city 17 yeah, all of this is still familiar. I remember this part. He like said, I think I got all the way up to, like, where the airboat section was. I can't remember exactly, though. I think that's where I left off. Like, I think I had just gotten... Yep, it was me and two other guys. Uh, yeah, we had just gotten to the boat, I think. So... We'll go all the way to that point, and then everything will be new Correct. to me. To City 
Yeah, yeah. This is where I meet Barney, I think. Yeah, that's him right there. I also think there's another weapon that they added. It's so like the the stun staff thing that these guys use. I think he also put that weapon in the game, so it's like a secondary kind of crowbar. It's pretty cool. I wonder when I'm gonna get it. Probably sometime after I get the crowbar. Nice. About that beer I owed you. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, Barney. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. It's all I'm good. Working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Nice, dude. <laughs> yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. It's me. Great Scott. Gordon Freeman. Yep, hi. Expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Yeah. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon, good to see you. Good to see okay, you, too. Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Sounds good. Oh, man, well, that's what that I doesn't sound of. good, though. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Yep, yep, I'm going. Pile up some stuff and get through that window. Keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. Physics. That's definitely one of the things that this game back in its day was known for, was its physics engine and all that stuff. Whoop. Well, Ah, uh, yes. And the loading screens. <laughs> I'll kind of edit past those just so you don't have to sit through those. Oh yeah, this douchebag. You know what? No, I'm gonna throw it at your face. <laughs> what are you gonna do? You gonna chase me? Yeah, that, that weapon that he has in his hand right there, I think, I'm pretty sure he, the modders also added it in the, in the game so I can use it as well. He's not going to do anything. Alright, um, anyway, <laughs> at the amusement of throwing a can at one of their faces. Yep, everything else still looks the same. I'm pretty sure there are, like, texture packs. Uh, texture mods and stuff like that that you can download. I'm pretty sure I've seen a few of them, but I haven't bothered with it. I just I saw M mod and I was more intrigued with that. So we continue. What's up, dude? Nice, the Striders. This is where you can kind of play around with the physics a little bit. <laughs> nice. I have this thing following me, taking my picture. I don't want a picture. You guys already know what I look like anyway. I'm Gordon Freeman. <laughs> okay. Well, they're screwed. Oh, I thought you were a cop. Nope. He's one of us. Just Freeman. Look at him there. I told you they'd be coming for us next. Just this once, I hope you're wrong. Or they're coming after me. I mean, 
It's one or the other. Chasing me. All right. Oh boy. Get in here quick. Thanks, dude. I thank you for your sacrifice. I know they. Yep, they just shot him. <laughs> Sorry, dude. But thanks for the help. Oh no, they're shooting at me. All right, you're gonna hit me. You're not gonna hit me. Maybe. Oh boy. Oh boy. Nope. You can't hit. We can't see. Nope. Nope. Woo! Woo. Oh yeah, this is where Alex shows up. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Beat me up. You missed, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. Oh. <laughs> he swung and completely missed me. Hey, Alex. Dr. Freeman, I presume. Yep, what's up? I better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. <laughs> Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. Yeah, no, no, it's just me. I just got off the train. I didn't really have anything with me. I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. I'm sure you don't remember me though. No, I do. Well, I do. Man, a few words, the, aren't you? The character doesn't. Or well, maybe he does. I don't know. Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. Oh yeah, that guy. <laughs> Don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. Hmm. Oh yeah, not to mention it. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but like, whenever I, sh um, I look at different lights and stuff, he also added a bunch of lens dirt. Funny, you showing up on this day in particular. Kind of. I don't know, it's hard to see. I can't quite get it on this one. Let me see if I can. We've been helping people escape the city. There's like little specks. Like you can kind of see it right there in the center, lab. above the light right there. It's hard to see, but Today we're finally on the verge of having a better way. Nice. Here, let me buy you a drink. There we go. It's a little easier to see it right there. There's just little specks of dust and dirt on the lens and whatnot. Oh, and by the way, it's a pretty cool feature. Nice to finally meet you. Yeah, you too. Here we are, Kleiner's lab. Where did she get to? I'll make this episode a little longer because nothing really has happened yet, and you guys already know what it is. So, well, almost all right. I'll keep going. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping. And my goodness, Gordon. Freeman. Hey, dude. It really is you, isn't it? Yeah, it's I me. I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? <laughs> we owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. Yeah, that's right. I'm totally a troublemaker. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents nice. surpass your lovely. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is he here? Yes, I'm here, Barney. There you are. Man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. It's usually what I do. <laughs> you can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry. He's coming with me. Uh, that's right, Barney. This is a red-letter day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's <laughs> nothing to be nervous what about. Cat? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his civvies. What? Oh, dear. You're right. I almost forgot. Yeah, my Are suit. You? 
I'll give you the honor. <laughs> I've got to get back on my shift, but okay. There it is. Here we go. Oh, there's the <laughs> there's Lamar. Lamar, there you are. I thought you got rid of that pest. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's de-beaked and completely harmless. The worst she might do is attempt to couple with your head. Yeah, like Fruit all the other head crabs. Get that thing away from me. Here, my pet. Hop up. No, not up there. <laughs> no, no. Careful, Lamar. Those are quite fragile. Oh, fie. It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney. You're not an animal person. <laughs> okay, but that's not your average dog. <laughs> well, Gordon, go ahead. Slip into your suit now. Nice. Well, Gordon, I see your HEV suit still fits you like a glove. At least the glove parts do. <laughs> I've made a Thanks. few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Now, let's see. The Mark V hazardous environment suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Oh dear. Doc, we don't <laughs> have time for this. Yeah, we really don't. Get that suit you stop, Gordon. Good idea. Oh yeah, there's, there's a, a thing on the, on the wall. I've modified your suit to draw power from combine energy outlets which are plentiful wherever they patrol. <laughs> Meanwhile, let's get this show on the road. Yep, yep, we're going. Gordon, why don't you position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my word? Isaac, are you there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a hold up on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. That would be me. <laughs> That's not who I think it is. Oh yeah, it is. Indeed it is. And yep. it's our intention <laughs> to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? We're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Let's see. The massless field flux should self-limit, and I've clamped the manifold parameters to C1 base and LT orbifold. Hilbert inclusive. Conditions could hardly be more ideal. I have That's no idea what, what he just said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, about that cat. Initializing in three, <laughs> Lamar. two, one. No fiddlesticks. What now? Oh, it's fine. Excellent. You gonna it... let Gordon throw the switch? Yeah. Gordon, go right ahead. Very good. Final sequence. Commencing now. I can't look. <laughs> this would be crazy in real life. Really wonder what it'd be like to teleport somewhere. Well, did it work? See for yourself. Hey, Doc. Oh, thank goodness. My relief is almost palpable. Fantastic work, is it? Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring Gordon through now. I mean, I just right flipped a switch, but... A sure, I'll take some credit, I guess. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. All right, Bonnie. <laughs> your turn. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Gordon, as soon as you're in position, we'll send you to Eli's. All right, and not let's a do it. too soon. Even though we're totally going to get screwed by Lamar here in about Excellent. five seconds. In three, two, one. Uh, Barney, if you'd be so kind. Good luck out there, Gordon. Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Final sequence. What the hell? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I have no idea where I am. Oh, I'm back. Hey, I'm here, but I'm not here. I don't know. I just teleported in there. <laughs> oh boy. Yep, that was me. Alright. Oh yeah, here's Big Fish Boy. I'm right here. Uh, yeah, let me let me out. <laughs> nice. All right, first time was good. Second time, not so well. He's like, I wish I knew. I'm a, I, I'm expecting under. Oh my god, I can't even English. <laughs> I'm experiencing unexpected interference. Well, you should know your head humper, as Barney likes to call them, jumped in the portal with me. <laughs> hey, Gordon. Hey. The Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Well, I was just there. Get out of City so. 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I'd come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget, I think you dropped this back in yeah, Black Mesa. Yeah, crowbar. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna need it. Will do. Yeah, um, I was just there, so, like, they're all, like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> um... Alright, well, yep, I have the first weapon, and you can already see, like, how much better it looks, the texture and everything, the animation is better, it, the sound is a little different, just things like that. And, and now you can really see the, the lens dirt on there. Also, since Gordon is wearing glasses, so it kind of makes sense. Looks neat, looks awesome, I love it. Um, but anyway, alright, so we are now heading our way on foot, and things are going to start uh, spicing up here in a little bit. So, I'm going to call it here for the first episode. So thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.